Welcome back to Project Castaway, everybody. In the last episode, we found this GPS radar, and it is pinging something over in that direction. However, we're not going to go there quite yet. We are going to build a little bit. I've got all this wood right here. All this wood. Nothing on there. I've already unloaded everything. We're going to build a dock. We're going to build a dock, and it's going to be super sexy. So I'm thinking about starting it. Probably like right in this area, because there's some rocks over this way. Um, that way we could pull it up on either side, pull the raft up on either side if we need to. So let me grab the hammer real quick. But doink. And there we go. And this has got 2% left, so we're going to have to make another one. Actually, let's, uh, let's put this here. Uh, let's see. Boop. And disassemble. Then leave table. I really need to just... I, there needs to be an indication on this table as to which side's the front, which side's the back. So, yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and craft up another one. There we go. 100%. Look at that. Okay. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get going on this here. So, we're just going to use the regular old platforms. So, I want it to be... I guess we could have it, like, a little bit off the ground. That would, And we could just have a a uh, set of stairs over here. Let's see. So if I go down there, it's going to be too low. So let's get it as close as we can here. Something like that. Okay, and let's just go out this way and extend it as far as we can. Is that too far? Can I not go any further than that? There we go. I think I've just got to be like, there we go. Here, let's end building. Let's actually use this stand on this. Because it seems like once you start to actually swim swim, it will not let you build anymore. I don't want this to be super short dock. So what we're going to do, I need to push this a little bit more. There we go. Now let's see. There we go. Awesome. Cool. I think that's probably long enough. I want to have like a little platform that way we could build like a little, almost like a covering for. I wonder why it's not letting me build it there. There we go. There we go. Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Oh, look at the water. What did we just do? We have officially broken the game. Actually, that's probably good for us. Let's see. Go there and there. That should be good. We've we've royally screwed up something. There we go. Here comes the water back. That's good. <laughs> okay. So we only need 24 logs for that. Dude, my camera. I am so sick and tired of that. It keeps cutting in and out. Let's go ahead and get this built. And we'll just go from there. So I just want somewhere to pull up so we don't have to just park right at the beach every time because it's just a pain. And if I can just pull up to the outside there, hop off, run back to the beach, it'd be way easier. Okay, cool. So let's get, um, let's see, some stairs. Yeah, that, that works. Yeah, just one set of stairs there. I wish it would go clear across, but that's fine. Just two. Cool. Well, now we can get up here. All right, awesome. Yeah, I like this. I like this. It is slightly phallic, but, you know, what are you going to do with a dock? Let's see. So what else can we do with this here? We'll definitely put some chairs. Let's try, let's look for some walls. What's this? Wood support pillar. Wait, can we just... Those don't snap, though. I guess you could just use those. Dude, my camera. I swear. I'm so sorry. So I'm, I'm curious about this, though. Like, you need four metal sheets. I don't have metal sheets. Um, so we can't really do that. That's okay. We'll cancel that out. I'd like the maybe palm frond, but I don't want... I don't want it to feel too closed in for the dock. Okay, so I decided to go ahead and just add another two at the end out there. For what I want to do here. Because I think a 3x3 three three would work well. So we're going to use some of these palm fences um, along the outsides, I think. And let's just see what we can do with these. I'll pull the boat up right here. So we'll just block off the sides, I think. Maybe like that on both sides. Something like that. We'll plan this out before we actually start building to see if we actually like it. Because the nice thing is that you can just cancel everything out and, uh, you know, just redo it. Okay, let's turn this one this way. So we're going to need 
a lot of rope, a lot of palm fronds. Luckily, we've got a ton of palm fronds around here. Do I want that? I would like to have a cover though. Okay, so this is kind of the design I'm thinking about going with. We've just changed these out for the actual palm frond walls. Kept these ones here. Got a little seating area right here. Got some lamps right there. That way we can see the edge of the dock. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on building this. And yeah, we'll be back in a little bit. Gotta go and get some rope and some sticks. Okay, so we've got all the sticks, everything done. Just the palm fronds need done now. So we need eight, 16, 24. Okay, I also need to drink some water. So we've got all full on food. We've got full of water. So now it comes the tedious task of collecting palm fronds. Luckily, we've got a ton all over the place, but you can only carry four at a time. There is no sled thing to carry these. There's nothing like that. So we've just got to suffer and do this one trip at a time. Okay, so right here, we've got the walls here done. So we just need this one here, this one here. So we need 16 more and I'm stuck. Okay, well, I am officially stuck. Um, the stupid glitch happened again and I haven't saved um, because we haven't been going that long and I literally cannot move. I can't crouch, I can't do anything. So that means I have to restart the entire build. I'm very upset. Please developers fix this issue because holy crap, it's annoying as hell. This is the second time it's happened where I've had to redo so much stuff. So, all right, I'll be back once all this is completely redone, I guess. Okay, so we're almost done. Um, I had to change up a little bit because the position of this, uh, the walls, the small walls here, I'll show you here. Let me see here. I'll put these up instead. Um, these here won't line up properly. So I decided to scrap those. They lined up fine on the other one, but just the position that I put this and I didn't want to redo the base. So I decided to put these here and they're not quite attached. So don't worry about that. We'll be okay. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Um, but I'd figured I'd just extend this out one and uh, that way we can just do a little bit more here. But let me go ahead and just try to finish these off here. I need uh, just a little bit more rope there. I need two logs and I think I'm one metal sheet short, which kind of sucks. But we also need to make those chairs again as well, uh, which are fairly cheap. But let's go ahead and get this done. Hopefully I don't get stuck again because holy crap, it's annoying. So there's that. Yeah, it looks okay. Um, it's a little expensive for what it is, but that's fine. And there we go. There's that. We'll put our little seating area back in here. I need this here. Oh, we still need to add the lights. Oh, I don't have the, uh, the metal sheets. I think I need metal sheets for those lights, which we'll have to go get more. That's fine. We've got to go off and explore some more stuff anyway. So we'll get, why do I, why did I grab two of those? Why did I grab two of those? There we go. It would be cool to add some railings, like intermittent railings down through here. Uh, I might do that. Okay, cool. So there's that. So if we could take a seat and look around, look at that. That's really nice. I like it. I like it. So let's go ahead and just add the blueprints here for these. Yeah, I need two metal sheets. So let's just go ahead and do this. Boop. And there. There we go. So this is pretty much done. I'm going to save it real quick so we don't have to redo it if we get stuck. But maybe I'll add some railings down through here as well. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, so 20 palm fronds, so 40 palm fronds, ton of large sticks, some more rope. Let's go ahead and get this done. I think that's gonna look nice though. It'll add just a little bit of, I guess, texture to it and not make it not look so bland. Okay, so we've got all of the sticks done for these here. Uh, now comes the uh, ridiculous task of getting all of the palm fronds. So we can make one trip per. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine trips. I'm going to take the boat around to the backside because all of the palm fronds are on the other side of the island. So I want to see if I can load the, the, the raft up with these and just do it that way. I feel like it's going to save a lot of time. So let's see how crazy this can get. So I need nine times four. So that's a heckin' heap of palm fronds. I don't think, I mean, maybe I'll try to fit them all in this and we'll see how it goes. So there's four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so that should be all of them that we need. <laughs> Let's see if we can actually get this going. Oh my gosh. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. Let's go. 
Come on. It's just not wanting to go at all. Come on. I don't know if we're on something. I don't think we are. I just think it's so loaded down. Okay, maybe this wasn't the uh, the best option. Come on, get turned. You can do it. You can do it. Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh no. We're we're losing some, but if I can make it back with most of them, oh there they go. There they go. All right. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's see if we can do this. <laughs> Are we going anywhere? I don't think we're going anywhere at all. Nope. There it goes. <laughs> it's just gone. See you later. I tried to grab it, but it was too late. It is now gone forever. We're getting close, though. We're getting close. <laughs> this is so painful. Okay. We've kind of made it. This is about as good as I can get it. Oh, nope. Okay. I guess we're going to swim with these. That's fine. I wonder if we could put stairs coming down like that and actually, like use those to get out of the water over there if we fall in. So yeah, we'll see how many we actually lost on the way here. I like that. That looks nice. Frames it in really nice. I think we might be losing more. Oh! Oh, that one's gone. I mean, I think we did pretty well considering the situation. We didn't have to make nine trips. We'll probably only have to make two, hopefully just one, but I'm pretty sure that we lost way more than four. So we lost a total of seven. Lost seven. That's fine. Like I said, way easier than actually going to grab them. Um, I need to sleep, save it, and then we'll go and grab the rest of those um, because I want to get this finished so we can head over that way and go to wherever the GPS signal is leading us. Okay, we've got the final three here. It is dark. Boom, done. So the only thing we've got left to do is finish these off here. We need two metal sheets, two large sticks. I'm going to go ahead and grab the sticks here. All right, get that in there and that in there. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my stone hammer away. I'm going to grab the torch, and I'm going to look around to see if I can find the coca that I'm pretty sure that we collected at some point. So we've got the peppers right there. Um, ginger, nothing's up there. And okay, now there's some stuff back here. We still need to make the, uh, the rack for these because those are getting kind of out of hand. Coca, there we go. Take that. And then we'll take a couple of those. And then we should be able to make the shark repellent. Nope, we need five Coca. Five Coca, so we do not have everything that we need. Lavender. Yeah, that sucks. Um, I guess once we go over to the island over there, I'm going to wait until morning to do that because it's so dark, but we're going to go over there and where's this at? Yeah, there's something off that way. I assume it's on the island, but maybe not. Um, we're going to go and check that out in the morning. So, but for now, I think, um, you know what? Let's take this beer. We're going to... Uh, right here, I'm going to place Tim Tommy's hat and this picture. You know, all of those things we'll just put right there. We'll take a seat in the chair. Um, I cannot access my uh, inventory there. Anyway, we will drink a beer. There we go. I sit here and just enjoy the evening. Part 7. Despair. November 1st, 1985. The following is a blur. I'm trying to recount the details of this painful memory as best I can. Claire and I were searching frantically for Emma in the dark. The jungle around us thick and menacing. The sounds grew eerier with every step. Then we heard it, a low menacing growl. My blood ran cold. We found Emma huddled under a tree, but before we could reach her, a pair of Komodo dragons emerged from the shadows their eyes glinting in the torchlight. I grabbed the nearest weapon, a makeshift spear, and charged at the beasts. Rage and fear fueled my every step. I drove the spear into the first dragon, but it barely slowed down. The second one lunged at Emma. With a primal roar, I tackled it, using every ounce of strength to wrestle it away from her. The beast bit into my arm, pain searing through me, but I didn't care. I couldn't let it take her. I drove the spear into its side repeatedly until it finally collapsed but it was too late. 
Emma lay motionless, her small body battered and bleeding. Claire rushed to her side, her sobs tearing through the silence. I fell to my knees, my vision blurred with tears and pain. Emma, please, Claire whispered, cradling her. Stay with us, please. But there was no response. Emma was gone. Part 8. The Aftermath. November 3rd, 1985. The weeks and months after Emma's death have passed in a haze of grief and shock. Claire treated my wounds and we buried her near the camp. A simple grave marked with stones. Claire has been inconsolable, her grief palpable. Tommy and Jake have been silent, their eyes wide with shock and fear. I sat by Emma's grave for hours, my heart heavy with sorrow and guilt. The island had taken another innocent life, and the weight of it threatened to crush me. I had failed her. I had failed them all. We had plans to throw a birthday party for Emma in a few days. She would have turned six. Now she'll never see it. The thought of it is too much to bear. Tommy blames me for her death. He hasn't said it outright, but I can see it in his eyes. The way he looks at me with a mixture of anger and hurt. Jake, too young to fully understand, just clings to Claire and asks why Emma isn't coming back. Claire didn't speak to me for weeks. The bond we had started to form now seems irreparably broken. I knew I had to be strong for Tommy and Jake, but the pain was overwhelming. Every night, I lay awake, staring at the stars, determined to protect their remaining children no matter what. Claire is emotionally broken. She treated Emma as her own, and the loss has shattered her. She sought comfort from me, something physical to make her feel human and alive, something other than a failure. But I was reluctant, too wrapped up in my own grief and guilt to give her what she needed. The distance between us has only grown. Today we held a birthday party for everyone. It was an attempt to bring some semblance of normalcy back into our lives. Claire and the boys needed it, a moment to remember Emma and to try to find some joy amidst the sorrow. But I couldn't bring myself to join. I knew they needed it, but I couldn't face them. Instead, I left to deal with my emotions privately. I needed a little bit of space, so I decided to go on the raft and drift a little bit, just to get some peace and isolation, to think through these scattered thoughts. As I floated on the water, the silence was deafening. The weight of my guilt and sorrow pressed down on me, threatening to pull me under. I don't know how we'll move forward from this. Emma's loss is a wound that may never heal, but I have to try for Claire, for Tommy and Jake, for the memory of the children we've lost. They are my family now, the only people who need me. I realize that now we may never escape from here. No one else matters. We have to survive. Part eight, the final wish. December 1st, 1985. I fell asleep on the raft, seeking peace and isolation to sort through my scattered thoughts. When I woke up, no islands were nearby. I floated on the sea for what felt like days, surviving on what little supplies I had. One day, islands appeared again. I went to shore, disoriented and frantic, searching for Claire and the kids. Months have passed in this relentless search. I wish I had a compass or GPS, anything to guide me. I cursed myself daily, imagining how scared the kids must be and how cold I feel without Claire's embrace. I regret not fully loving her the way her soul deserved. Her kindness haunts me, especially the memory of her wanting to make graves for all the victims when we first crashed. I convinced her it was a waste of time and energy, urging her to focus on survival. Now I see the folly in my words. Madness has crept into my mind. I've been attacked by insects and caught a disease that's left me coughing up blood. My strength wanes, but my will to find them keeps me moving. I stumbled upon Emma's grave today. I collapsed there, crying and wishing I could die to be buried with her. The pain is unbearable, but I must keep searching. Continuing my search, I found Tommy's hat on a larger skeleton. Confused and heartbroken, I took the hat and pressed on. How much time has really passed? The thought gnaws at me. The skeleton was too large for a child. The reality of time slipping away terrifies me. Soon after, I discovered the remains of Jake, clutching a photograph of his mother. I collected it, feeling the weight of my failure crushing me. Again, I was struck by the size of the skeleton. Was it possible that so much time had passed that they had grown and aged while I was lost at sea? Finally, I found Claire's skeleton, her clothing unmistakable. I took her necklace, a token to bury with the others. Realizing my end is near, I write this final note. To whoever finds this, please honor my dying wish, build a grave site for Claire, Tommy, Jake, and Emma, and bury these items with them. Let them rest in peace together. I don't deserve to be buried alongside them. My shame is too great. Please also commemorate the other passengers who perished in the crash. 
Their lives deserve recognition and remembrance. In a life full of regrets, this is my last plea. Please give them the peace I couldn't provide in life. Logan Harper Okay, so we read the rest of Logan Harper's notes, and it looks like we're going to have to find Claire's necklace and do some possible building of grave sites and things like that. So we'll take a look around this island out here if this is where the GPS is telling us to go. If not, we'll save that for the next episode. But for now, I'm going to try to get this raft to move. There we go. All right. So we're gonna follow this, um, this GPS tracker here. We're gonna get turned around, see where this takes us. I'm wondering if it's gonna take us to like the key items that we need, maybe the necklace, maybe where we need to actually go to get, or to, 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 to find Claire's grave and Emma's grave and all that. So we'll see. But for now, we're gonna head off into this direction. I'm gonna hopefully find some cocoa so we can get that shark repellent so we can search some of these shipwrecks. Not sure exactly what'll be down there, but possibly things that we need to escape. Oh, I also need to not forget to grab some metal sheets so we can finish our building back there and light those torches up. I also think that I probably gathered a lot of the metal sheets from this island already, so it might be difficult for us to find some over here, but that's okay. We are here to track down whatever the heck this is. I'm really hoping that it's not on the other side of this island, but I feel like as we got closer, it started to move towards the island. Oh, ho, 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 there it is. Did we seriously miss this before? Okay, here's a sticky note. Gameplay lore name tower. Okay, so that's this one here, to Danny. Danny, if you're reading this, I'm gone. I found something unbelievable, but it's too risky to explain here. I hid the deciphering book where the sun meets the sea. Use the GPS satellites to track it down. The island's secrets are beyond anything we imagined, and Mordenpole disturbs something ancient. Be careful, my friend. The truth is out there, but it's not without danger. Okay. Where the sun meets the sea. GPS tag, GPS tag. Another one there, another one there. Okay, so we can use this to tag stuff. Okay. What do you want? jerk. Okay. So I'm wondering what this is going to do now. Is there more here? I'm missing one. Oh, okay. So we came back up here. It's, it's right there. It was under that bush. I just didn't see it. Okay. So now is that everything gone? Yeah. Okay. So we have to figure this out then. So the island secret uh, so deciphering book where the sun meets the sea. So we're going to wait until the sun goes down to figure that out and then go off in that direction. That's my guess. Unfortunately, it's 10.23 a.m., so we can't really do that. I brought over the hat and the photo in case we found where we need to put these. But we need to find Claire's body and get the, uh, the necklace. Whereas before, we've searched around this island so many times, I am not exactly sure where her body would be. Okay, so I've just had a nice little sleep and I had a dream. I had a dream. I had a dream that the necklace is not on this island. I had a dream. I had a dream that the necklace was on the lighthouse island. So if that dream is correct, we should be able to find this and hopefully complete this quest. Also, we haven't been out to this island since the update where it lets us know where everything's at. So let us go. So we're looking for these bad boys. We need a few of them. We're just gonna collect. I think we only need one per lantern, but I want to collect a lot of them and take them back because I kind of need them. So let's take a look. My dream said that it would be below the lighthouse, somewhere under the bridge, but I'm not sure if my dream is correct or not because those things get a little hazy sometimes. So let's head over towards the lighthouse and see what this has for us. And hopefully it's here. My dream was incorrect. It is, in fact, not there. Not even remotely. So, we're gonna have a look-see around the island. Maybe, maybe it was just the island itself. Maybe it's just the island here. Maybe it's here somewhere. These all potato plants, that's a ginger plant, okay. 
It's a Kirkland, Kirkland special right there. Don't break my legs, don't break my legs. I should probably jump off over here, right? Huh. Ow. Guess that metal weighed us down a little bit. That's okay. Uh, I was just looking to see how many we, so we need five metal sheets for this wine rack, which I want to, which, which I want to make. There's this now though, Wilson Trophy Throne. We're gonna make that. We're gonna make that too. Oh wait, what's this? I literally just walked past this and there's a freaking note right here. Okay, so there's one of his notes. Let's see what this says. Last wishes. Date unknown. I've lost track of time entirely. The days, months, and years have blurred together into an endless haze. If anyone finds these notes, please return my belongings to Mary O'Connor and my daughter Elizabeth in Brooklyn. Tell them I love them with all my heart and that I'm sorry for everything. My final wish is for my story to reach them, even if I never do. I hope they can find peace and happiness, even if I cannot. In my desperation, I've hidden my belongings across the island. I know it's hypocritical after burning other artifacts for fuel, but I'm desperate. These items are precious to me, and I hope they can be treated with the care I failed to show. Among them, you'll find my locket, a signed baseball card from Johnny Romano, and a copy of the letter to my daughter Elizabeth. Mary, my love, and Elizabeth, my little girl, I hope you find joy in this cruel world. Though I may be gone, my love remains in your hearts, through joy and pains. Mary, my love, and Elizabeth, my little girl, I hope you find joy in this cruel world. Though I may be gone, my love remains in your hearts through joy and the pains. <laughs> it's just repeated. This is my last plea, my final testament. May the, my story serve as a reminder of the horrors of war and the cost of survival. I hope it brings some closure to my beloved Mary and little Elizabeth. Remember me not for my failures, but for my love and my desperate hope to see you again. Okay, so there's going to be... I don't want that. Get out of here. So there's going to be that stuff around the island then. So maybe we will stick around for a second and see if we can find those. Maybe that's what my dream was trying to tell me. Maybe the maybe like some of that stuff is underneath the bridge. Uh, now, that's one thing about this game. It's a little awkward is that you have to search and find all the notes and then items will appear. It's very strange. Very strange. However, I'm going to look around one more time. One more time. Try to find these three. So there's a locket, a baseball card, and a copy of the letter. Okay. So let's take a look, see, see if we could find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been so long. I have looked over this entire island and have yet to find a single one of the three items. So I am just not going to keep looking because I am short on time and I am way behind my recording schedule. <laughs> I feel bad that I keep leaving all these things unfinished. However, there is also the chance that since this game is still in development that they're not even here. Anyway, we're going to grab all of these metal sheets now and just head back to island. We're sailing. We're sailing. Oh no. We're sailing. We're going the wrong way. I can't move the boat. <laughs> oh no. We're doing our best. We're doing our best, Captain. Oh no, there's sharks. Oh, there's sharks! <laughs> oh no! Isn't that just a thing of beauty? Look at that. We'll pull right up to here. Over the sails, jump off of here. Uh! Sweet, we made it. Add material. Add material. Done and done. Look at that. Okay. Oh, now we can just unload the rest of this stuff here. And we didn't lose a single one, so that's good. All right, cool. I'm probably going to build a bottle note collector out here because that'll be fun. Let's just go ahead and place it down real quick. We'll put that right in the corner here. Place all those in there. We need four large sticks and two logs. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and finish that real quick and I'll be right by it. Okay, so I decided to go ahead and build the Wilson Trophy Throne as well. I also slept because I was getting super, super tired. So let's go ahead and finish that there. And we've got the sticks here for this. There we go. Now we just got to get Wilson and all of our bottled notes. So let's go ahead and collect all that and we will fill these up and then make that shark repellent and go check out the uh, the shipwreck there. And boom, made the shark repellent. Efficiency. Efficiency is key. I really like this little dock. It makes it so much easier. I don't have to run up to land through the water. All right. There we go, Wilson. Look at him. He's so adorable. We'll show it to you. 
in the daylight as well. Look at that. So it looks like we might only be missing one bottled note. Cool. Or maybe. Maybe you need multiple. But all right. Let's um, come out here real quick and check out what is at the bottom of this shipwreck here. Hopefully it's some goodies. Maybe Claire's necklace will be down here. It's kind of right in between. You never know. You know, we should probably wait till daytime to do this because like how dark is it underwater? Yeah, yeah, let's wait till daylight. That doesn't seem like a very good idea. So we'll just uh, wait here for a couple hours, I guess. While I wait for the sun to come up, I'm going to put down some flags out here, get our pirate flags. I'm going to line these spots right here just to fill these out. So we've got the pirate flags here. Do boop, 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 boop. All right, so there's those four. So we've got one more pirate flag, two one slice flags. So let's go ahead and just take those. So we're getting three more sticks. So we will add the other pirate flag right here because I want these to be all pirate flags. And we'll put the one slice flags here. Boop, boop, and those are done. Cool, there we go, we were able to sleep. So let's get back out here. Uh, I don't know why I left my, my raft out there, but you know, I guess I'm just a sucker for freaking punishment because there's sharks all over the place. Uh-uh, buddy. Uh-uh, back off. You didn't even, you didn't even touch me. So let's pop this champagne here. There we go. Heckin' shark repellent. Let's do this. All right, let's see what's down here. Maybe more flags. That would be cool. Nothing really there. Kind of... Oh, so we gotta break our way into it, okay. So we're gonna have to do this, then go back up for air. Cool. Up for air, up for air. Let's see what this has for us down here. This. Can't break any of that there. What is this? Seaweed? Locked. We need to go back up. Crap, 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 crap. Crap, 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 crap. There's really nothing down in here. That's pretty lame. I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna do one more pass down there, but... Great. <laughs> I didn't think we were gonna die immediately, but okay. All right, so luckily we saved right before we came out here, so... We didn't lose any progress. We need to look around over there as well, but I want to uh, get these off of here. Boom, done, okay. So we still have some air. Let's check over here real quick. Doesn't really look like there's anything here either. Okay. That's fine. Let's head back up, get some air. One more quick pass. Is there anything under here? There's like a treasure chest right there, but you can't really get into it. it doesn't look like there's anything there okay yeah oh there's a thing right here okay cool okay up for air up for air our shark repellent is almost gone that is not good anything in here anything in here anything at all bed nothing literally nothing get out of here okay well this is just an absolute waste of time okay that's fine. But all right. <laughs> that was fun. I really, like, it's been staring at us for so long and there's literally nothing on it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope that you guys have been enjoying the series. We got a lot done today as far as building goes. We got a little bit of the story done as well. But yeah, next time, I think what we're going to do is probably search where the sun meets the sea and see if we can find that book. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.